It's news that stops you in your tracks, whether you're a parent or not. Just days after Hampton police arrested Noah Tomlin's mother, officers found a body at the steam plant this morning during their search for the two year old. The child has been missing since last week. Crews have been sifting through millions of pounds of trash ever since. Tonight, the medical examiner is working to identify the body, but police believe it is the toddler. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens was there for the emotional announcement. Noah's now in a better place. It's news everyone feared, but prepared for. The priority all along has been to find Noah. It's with very mixed emotions that we report today that goal has been accomplished. It's a heartbreaking end to Noah Tomlin's mysterious disappearance. Police Chief Terry Stolt says officers found what they believe to be the toddler's remains at the Hampton NASA steam plant, where officers spent the last several days. The case now transitioning over to the Commonwealth's attorney and the courts. We will hold those accountable who do harm to the innocent. Today we could see crime scene tape on the property. Officers made the gruesome discovery just a few days after police arrested Noah's mother, Julia Tomlin. It's just a sad situation. Tomlin's neighbors anxious the last week or so. Many believe this could have been prevented. He was a sweet little boy, sweet little boy. And there was no reason for this to happen. If people would have paid attention more and said just doing their job, you know, they would have they would have seen it. Chief Salt says his officers searched through two million pounds of garbage by hand. Make no mistake, this has taken a toll on our community and our first responders. The chief calling Noah the epitome of an innocent victim who deserved better. To all of those who care for Noah, our hearts are with you and our prayers are with you. And Tomlin, she's charged with felony child neglect. Now, Commonwealth's attorney Anton Bell tells me charges stand where they are right now, but he should have a better idea Monday once the autopsy report comes back as far as handing down more charges. Tomlin, she's back in court July 29th for a preliminary hearing. In Hampton, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now. Now you heard Nico mention the Hampton NASA steam plant and you may be wondering what that is. According to the city's website, it's a facility that uses waste to energy technology to help conserve fuel, landfill space and disposal cost. This particular plant serves Hampton residents, the city of Pocosin and five federal installations.